Hi, I'm Craig with Adamson Industries. Today we're here with Patriot Fleet Group. They brought their demo vehicles with them. I have Kyle Jacobson and Scott Potter. They're going to be going over all the equipment they have installed in these vehicles. Thanks for having us. First on the list of our demonstration vehicles this year is an all new uh, operating system called Wheelands CENCOM 4. Um, CENCOM 4 is a control unit similar to our previous systems like Cantrol and Carbide. This one's a little different. This one runs off a brand new network protocol we call WeCanX. WeCanX is a very fast, very robust CAN bus uh, network protocol that, that is uh, part of the CENCOM 4 system. And that's what drives all the peripherals that are around the system, like the light bars, the siren amplifiers, the expansion modules, and things like that. The flashing lights on these vehicles are set to three different flash modes, all for various functions. Uh, what you see going on here is a response mode with a lot of activity and high intensity, very rapid flashes. As soon as these vehicles go to park, all of that changes to an in and out synchronized flash pattern. We want to eliminate the alternating now when we're in park. We want to show the outline of the vehicles um, and, and create a, a vision that these vehicles are stationary. We want to see the position of the vehicles in the roadway and that's why we switch the flash pattern up and become fully synchronized. You notice these vehicles are synchronized completely. Light bars, inner edges, all the lower lights are in perfect synchronization. What you also might notice is they're in synchronization together. Part of the WeCan 4 system is a vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle synchronization module, which allows not only your vehicle to sync up properly, but all of the others to be timed at the exact same flash pattern timing. Over the last 10 years or so of Whelan's involvement in automatic situational control with warning lights, we've learned that the sharp on and off light intensity changes within the flash rate itself, those are flash edges. And what those flash edges do is cause a lot of distraction and glare, not only to the approaching motorist that's uh, coming towards your parked cruiser, but to the officers and, and emergency responders that are working around that vehicle. With WeCanX and the CENCOM core system, We've created a revolutionary new nighttime park flash pattern. This is called DVI, or Dynamic Variable Intensity. What DVI does is it slows the flash rate down even further and completely removes those harsh flash edges. You notice the lights coming on gradually and then going back off gradually. In addition to that, running with vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle synchronization, we're now removing all of the flash edges on all of the vehicles. By utilizing the DVI flash patterns at night with vehicle to vehicle synchronization, you've created a much safer scene around your vehicles. Another thing about DVI is it is fully compliant to all SAE and FMVSSA motor vehicle standards for warning lights. The next thing we want to go over with you on this vehicle is the all new Wheelan Argus Spotlight System. It is a one to one control on your controller inside, completely operated by wire. Uh, so as you move and spin as fast as you can go, that's as fast as the light's going to go turn up. This particular one is a spot and flood uh, capability. There's no longer any drilling through the A-pillar. Uh, the officer doesn't have any blind spot any longer uh, with this light. Uh, another great feature about the Argus is that it fully integrates with the core system. So now if I have uh, the officer turn on the takedown lights, Argus wakes up and puts itself into that position. Uh, why don't you go with the left alley light? Puts itself into that position. Go to the right alley. And it puts itself in that position. Now turn the right alley light off. And because the left alley light is still on, it comes back to the left alley light position. So it knows exactly where it needs to be to help you get your job done. And there's no moving that controller. It's all being done through the warning light system. One other great feature of Argus is it knows when you're responding to an emergency scene. And it can provide some added warning light. We can program this to come on when the vehicle's in drive with the warning lights on. We can program this to just happen when there's different siren tones going on. However you want to do it is how we can set it up. And then when, you're, when your uh, scene is complete and you put the vehicle in the park, flashing stops and everything resumes back to where it was. Another feature of the wheel and core system is the ability to add an additional control head where you can control the lights and siren functions from the back of the vehicle. I have, I have full control of, of all of the warning lights as you can see. I 
can make emergency I can even control the arches left and right and up and down and put that spotlight wherever I want it to go what we want to show you now is what the back of the vehicles look like with the difference of the drive mode versus the park mode for daytime again switching from a left and right alternating flash pattern to now a in and out flash pattern that really outlines the corners of the vehicles for for much safer passing you'll also notice that these vehicles are perfectly synchronized and what you're seeing here is the nighttime flash rate that would come on automatically when the ambient light sensor senses that it's uh, low light conditions and the vehicle is in park again vehicle to vehicle synchronization removing the edges a much safer nighttime stationary scene